Hello and welcome to the 30th video in this series programming a chess engine JavaScript. So another apology coming for a couple of errors, big errors, when I wrote this code out preparing this video and actually printed a move list to the screen. I found it had a couple of glaring errors in the in the both of the pawn loops for white and for black. The piece type was being incremented rather than piece num, which gave a rather hilarious and relatively hard to find error uh, when generating moves. And the next error came when I tried to generate moves for black and found that there was missing an S here on gameboard.pieces. So because JavaScript compiles along with the program running, then you don't catch these things like when you compile with C. And I'm sure, well, I hope there aren't too many, but I've, I'm afraid there may well be other typos I haven't spotted inside the code so far, but we'll find those as we go on. So once you've corrected those errors, we can get started in this video with actually making our way towards generating and printing a move full move list. So I'm going to go quite quickly with some copy and paste through this because it's fairly simple stuff that we'll be adding. All we need to add now is we need to add a move in for our normal pawn move generation. That means non ampersand captures and non pawn start moves. And the thing about these moves is we have to test whether the pawn is going to get to its bottom, its top rank. So in case of white, the eighth rank, or in case of black, the first rank. Because if it does, then it promotes and it's no longer a pawn, it becomes either a queen, a rook, a bishop, or a knight. So we have to do something special here, where in the case of promotion, we actually generate four moves for the pawn, rather than just one move. And we still want to maintain our distinguishing between a capture move and a non-capture move. So to do this, even though we could put all this really inside one function, we're going to split it into four functions that are going to look remarkably similar. And like I said, to speed things up here, because the original video going through to printing the move list, typing everything out, took about 40 minutes, I'm going to actually paste some of this code in just so I can talk through it a little better, because it's not very hard to understand. So we're adding a white pawn capture move. We're taking a from square or to square and what we're capturing. And then we need to do this test to see whether it's promotion or not. So we'll say that if the rank on the from square is equal to the seventh rank, because remember white promotes on the eighth rank, so it's going from the seventh rank, then we'll create a promotion. Otherwise, we'll just generate a normal capture move. And to create the promotion, what we're going to do is use our add capture move function, where we'll create our move as normal with our from and our to and the piece we're capturing. But now we specify the piece that we're actually going to promote to. So what I've written here is promoting to a white queen and we have no flag because it's not one of the special moves. And similarly, we can copy and paste that in now and simply put the promotion in for the white rook, the white bishop, and the white knight. And the make move function, when we actually come to executing a move on the board, will then handle changing the pawn into one of these pieces. For now, we just generate and add this move to the move list with the relevant bits set for the piece that we're promoting to. If this isn't the case, then we simply add our capture move as normal, but we're not promoting to anything, so we just leave it as pieces.empty. So that's done then for the white pawn, and we can now do exactly the same thing for the black pawn. So we'll call it add black pawn capture move. And here we have to say, be careful, now we're going to be going from rank 2, because it goes from rank 2 to 1 to promote a black pawn and we need to change the pieces we promote to to black. But that's all we need to do apart from this. So now we can take our add white pawn capture move function definition and drop down into the relevant parts of generate moves. And now I can actually add these in. So from is square, two is square plus nine, and the piece we're capturing is at gameboard.pieces, spelled correctly, square plus nine, whoops. And the same can be done here for the square plus 11. And I'll just drop down and do this exactly as well for the black captures. So we've got the minus 9 for black. And obviously it's called a black, not white pawn capture. You can see through this how it really is easy to, to make bad errors by doing copy and paste and I'm only doing it to keep the tutorial as quick as possible. I would never do it in normal code programming. Okay, so 
adding the black pawn, black pawn capture moves is, is, is in. And the last thing we need to do is very simple, two very simple functions, and that's add the normal quiet move. And I'm going to copy these and paste these functions in quite brutally from some code I prepared because it really isn't complicated. And just drop it down here. So the white pawn quiet move looks like this. So we simply lose from the capture move the captured piece. We still do our test for the promoting rank. And we have exactly the same then for the black pawn quiet move. I can save this in this way. So last but not least is to take the white quiet move and it's needed here. So we can say square, square plus 10. And then I can say down here, add black quiet move at square and square minus 10. And that's now all of the functions completed for adding the moves in inside our generate moves code. What I'd like to do now is actually go to the io.js and we're going to add a couple of functions in here and the first one's going to be to actually print a move so I'm going to call this PR move and it takes in a move argument and the format that we actually print a move in is as I've probably seen it said already is say we're moving a pawn from e2 to e4 then the move would be in this kind of notation here so a queen from d3 to d6 would be like this. In case of a promotion, say we're promoting a7 and capturing on b8, a, so we go a7, b8. If we want to promote to a queen, we put a small q, a rook a small r, a bishop a small n, and a knight, uh, sorry, a bishop a small b, and a knight a small n in that way. So we have to think about how we're going to do this. Well, we already have inside our defs.js here some handy vars declared with our various characters in for our ranks and files. So what we really need here is from this move is to get the from rank, the from file, the to rank and the to file and simply then build our string up using those variables. So I've already prepared this code as before to be a little bit quicker because it's really not very difficult. So declare the move string here, get the from file, the rank from, the from uh, the file to and the rank to using our from square and to square in the move. And now we can actually start building up our move string. And it's as simple as typing file car followed by the relevant file. And I don't need to do the rest of that I'm sure because it's easy peasy very dull stuff. The slightly more interesting thing then obviously is looking at whether we've promoted or not. So we'll make a, a var called promoted and actually set this equal to the promoted piece from our move using our promoted function that we declared inside defs. Let's double check that we have actually declared this. I think we have. Yes, it's here. And now we've got this piece, we can say that if promoted is not equal to pieces dot empty it means we had a promotion move and we need then to add another character on the end of our move string so the first thing we do there is declare a character and we'll set as default that we're promoting to a queen but otherwise we need to do some tests so if it's a knight we'll make it a small n if it's a rook then we'll make it a small r and otherwise, and this test isn't really technically strictly necessary because we've only got bishop left remaining anyway, we can say, oh no, actually we'd have queen, so the test is necessary. So if it's a rook or a queen and not a bishop or a queen, then it must be a rook. If it's a rook or, uh, not a rook or a queen but is a bishop or a queen, then it must be a bishop. Otherwise, none of these tests pass and we stay with the default of the queen. And the last thing that's needed to be done here then is add on our p car to get our promotion piece. Once we've done that we've got one more function to add in this video and that's the function to actually print the move list to the screen. And this is going to involve one loop that's going to become very familiar throughout the program and unfortunately it's a little bit of a wide loop for a video in terms of its definition but we need to loop through all of the moves. So we'll say index 
and the index is going to start at gameboard.movelist start and then remember we start from our current play so gameboard.play and we'll keep going whilst index is less than gameboard.movelist start and now we'll have gameboard.play plus one and this should now start making a little bit more sense what we're doing with the indexing inside the movegen.js file and then plus plus index. So this now loops through all of our moves. So I can now set our move variable then equal to gameboard.movelist and this obviously is then at our index in this way. And all I'd like to do simply is go console dot log and print this move to the screen. In fact we won't even type anything here, we'll just do brutally print move and move. And that's all there is to it then for printing our move list. So the last thing we need to do now is to go into main.js and actually paste in below the generate moves the printing of our move list and I'm just going to go back into defs.js and see what we've got the start position and make sure and it isn't that it's white to move and now hold a breath and bring up the browser actually see if everything works okay and I've typed everything out without any errors and move list it says 20 undefined on js38 bear with me one moment sorry what have I done wrong that's stupid there? I O Ah, I've forgotten to actually return our move string. Right, I'll just bring the browser over and try that again. Okay, good. So now we have you can see our full move list of twenty moves for the start position actually printed out. So we've got A2, A3, A2, A4, so both the pawn moves, the start move and the normal move going right through to H2, H3, H4 and then the four standard night moves that are available at the start. And I'll just very quickly take the browser away, go into defs.js and switch the side to move to black and bring this back and refresh again and add black quiet move is not defined it says as an error one three one add black quiet uh add black should be a black pawn quiet move should it not sorry about this add black pawn quiet move yet yeah, now things should be okay and we have the moves also generated for the black position as well with the sixteen pawn moves and then the four knight moves Good, so that's it then for this video. It's taken a few videos now to get through it, but what we have here in movedengen.js then is a full move generation, generation set of functions written out that can generate all of the suedo legal moves in a position because they're not checking whether they're illegal or not, so leaving the king in check or something like that. And the next video we can now start what's probably the biggest part of the program in terms of complexity actually implementing the functions to make a move and undo a move. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms, welcome as always on YouTube.